off down to one of the local rivers to do a bit of salmon fishing. Now I'm using a method that I haven't really done before uh, by means of the shrimp or the prawn. So I've just went down to Paul of Cumbria Tackling Guns and bought a new HTO rockfish game. Um, 5 to 20 gram rod. I know it's rate is light, but the tackle that I'm using is very light. So we'll see how it performs if we get a fish. Although it is a very light setup that I'm using, um, I'm quite looking forward to the challenge. If we do get a salmon, see how, we, how that rod performs. Because it is really light and it's only 8 foot long. So the spinner rod that I use is a Sonic um, 10 to 40 gram or 15 to 40 gram, I think it is. So they'll handle quite a bit differently with, with different sized fish. So I'll be quite intrigued to see how the little rod performs. Now the conditions today are cloudy, great. The only problem is we're in the middle of summer and we haven't had that much water. So whether the fish are there or not, I don't actually know, but, but we'll see. So, just got to the first pool, and I just thought I would give you a little run over of what I'm using for shrimping and the salmon this season. So I've just been down to Paul at Cumbria Tackling Gun, and I've just bought this little 8 foot HD or rockfish game. It's weighted at 5 to 20 gram. Now the spinner rod that I was using is weighted at 15 to 40 and I just thought it was a little bit heavy for throwing the shrimp out. So I went for a little bit lighter. Now, as I said before, I'm not really sure how it's going to handle the salmon, especially in big water, but there's only one way to find out. And if we get a fish, we'll, or if we get hold of a fish, we'll, we'll soon find out. Now, the rail I'm using is a Daiwa El, El Legalis 4000, does the job. I've got some bread on there. Um, which I find is better, a lot better than monofilament. You can feel it better. There's not, not as much stretch or pull in it. So when you strike, it's in right away. There's no stretch in it. And I'm using little tiny Eagle Claw size 10 trebles. I just think they're just a nice little size for, for shrimps and they're obviously really sharp and they look nice and neat. And then I've got a little inch and a half shrimp and pin. I've got my GoPro on, so if I do get a fish, hopefully I can get the take and get some good footage for you guys. And then I've got a little shot tied onto the top of my swivel. Now, the shot will be just gauging the flow of the, flow of the river, and you don't want the shrimp touching the bottom. You just want it fishing mid-water, coming around nicely, just like a fly. And then the fish will come up and hit you. So yeah, let's have a few casts and see how we get on. Now it's a little bit early on in the season, just now. We're at the back end of June. We haven't had a lot of water really, so there might be an odd fish about. And if there is, hopefully we can get into him or her. And we'll, uh, we'll see, see how we get on. As well, I just thought I'd show you uh, my little setup and how I thread the shrimps on. So like I said before, I've got little barrel swivel on the top got my bread tied on and I've got a little little bit of line and a little shot on the bottom end I've got maybe two foot of monofilament slide another inch and a half shrimp and pin up the line and then I've got my little size 10 eagle claw treble on there so I've got my shrimps purple whiskers little mediums or mediums, whichever you prefer, and then get your shrimp, snap the end off, take your shrimp and pin. I always stretch the shrimp out as so into the back of the shrimp in the flesh, 
straighten the shrimp out as you go push it right up as far as you can go like so so it's really straight just like that and then get your treble put the treble one hook of the treble right in the head as so pull the line so it's nice and tight you just try and put the put the line in between the little legs of the shrimp and there you have it nice and neat straight shrimp and as I said fish it mid-water let it come round just like a fly and hopefully the salmon wants it and comes up and takes us let's see how we get on the cast just before this I was casting exactly where I was casting now I let the shrimp come round with the floor of the current into the side let it sit and then as I was reeling in the shrimp come right into the side and I seen a salmon come from the depths over a little ledge and nab the end of my shrimp off so I got my shrimp up put a new one on and I'm going to cast in the exact same place as what I am now and well you'll see what happens this also gave me a time to set my cameras up and get the GoPro rolling just in case that salmon wanted another go Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, lovely. Fish on. Fish on. Excellent. Boy, I'm screaming. Boy, I'm screaming. Absolutely screaming. I've seen that fish come. I've seen that fish come. It's the first time when I was reeling in and then now I've just cast in the exact same place and it took that fish, took that shrimp Excellent Tucked right in the scissors, just coming up below me now. All of them head shakes. I think it could be wrapped up.
the lines wrapped around it. Get it from, from, from on there. Yep. Get it there. Get the net. Need to get down. And the fish is ours. The fish is ours. And the fish is ours. The fish is ours. Oh. Bar of silver. Absolute bar of silver. Look at that. Bar of silver, absolute bar of silver, look at that, oh excellent, absolute bar of silver. Oh, excellent. Well, lovely fish, I would say maybe eight pound, first outing on the shrimp this year, and bang, got it. I seen it come for the shrimp the first time. Took nabbed the end of my shrimp off, put a new shrimp on, cast in the exact same place and bang, took it. Beauty, bar of silver, fresh as they come. I would say it's been in no longer than 24 hours or maybe a couple of days if that. Absolute weapon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.